Hello everybody, Patrick, Patrick Glenn Nichols, Muscle Car Barn Finds here, and I thought I'd share with you today real quick, a 1957 Bel Air two-door sedan that's been sitting beside this abandoned house now for around 25, 30 years. There's no engine. I believe there's a four-speed transmission in the car. It was drag raced at one time, but it's a real cool car. A lot of people, real popular. A lot of people would like to have the car. It's in very repairable shape. So I'll do a quick walk around video of the car. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of my audience would love to see the car, so I thought it would be a good idea to stop and shoot a, a quick video of this car. You can see the Kreger SS is on the front, which are 15 fours. Um, the Kreger SS wasn't even introduced until 1964, which is well after the year of this car. So, but they were very popular with the guys back in the day with the hot rodders, the Kreger SS in the aftermarket. It was the go-to wheel in the aftermarket. And they are direct bolt, not unilug. The later versions are unilug. The early versions are direct bolt, which they fit a Chevy, fits a Chevy, a Ford, fits a Ford, so forth and so on. See a lot of dust and debris on the car. Again, I think it's been sitting here at least 25 years. The original color of the car, I believe, is that very popular orangish red color, the 57 Chevys. I don't believe there's a floor pan in this car at all which I believe the owner has intentions of restoring this car very soon. And that looks to be a Muncie four-speed there. Like I said, I think this car was drag raced for a period during its life. I don't really know what class or what transmission or what engine that it had in it back in the day. The word is it had a big block Chevy in it, which, you know, the big block Chevy, the Mark IV, wasn't introduced until 1965. Now you can see the infamous 57 Chevy Finn. I mean, a lot of people that don't even like cars or are interested in cars have heard of a 57 Chevy. Most of the time when you say Chevy, most people say 57 Chevy. So very popular car. And I already tried the trunk. It is latched. I have no way of getting inside. It's not, doesn't have a lot of rust. I mean, it's a lot of surface rust, but it looks very solid. You can see it has the Bel Air package, which a lot of 57 Chevy enthusiasts understand that that is a package. Style package, trim package. Let's go into the passenger side. Now, let's see here. What do we have? A, looks like the entire dash assembly is gone. The radio is gone. The back seat seems to be around. It's definitely a repairable car. Doors look good. Fenders look pretty good. And there's another other 15.4 Kreger SS. This car will be restored someday. I don't think in the near future, but it's definitely been sitting here about 25, 30 years or so. The owner does have the hood to the car, an engine to the car, and an enormous amount of parts to put the car back together. My understanding, the car is going to be set up as a 60s style gasser theme, which will be really cool and period correct for a 57 Chevy. I think the owner also is going to put a big block Chevy back in this car with a 2.4 setup and tunnel ram. A lot of you guys, I don't know if you're familiar with the po popular hot rodding Project X, which was a yellow. 57 Chevy a lot like this that was in a movie I've been in a couple movies or a few movies really popular car that was a project car for one of the magazines Project X this is a lot like that car I don't think this car will be painted yellow I think the car will be going back black probably a hot rod black semi gloss black not gloss with the big black the two fours and a gasser style theme, which would be really cool. Again, I'm Patrick Glenn Nichols with Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds. If 
you need assistance authenticating your Chevelle, especially a 1970 Chevelle, you may contact me at pnichols26 at yahoo or email or message me on YouTube or Facebook at Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Bar and Finds. If you have another car, not necessarily a Chevelle, that's an epic find, you may also contact me as well. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching the video of this 57 Chevrolet. More videos on the way.